didn't even work out this morning. I didn't either. It's okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of week two of living as Marie Kondo. This woman is changing my life, you guys. Actually, yesterday, okay. So my, I, I never really show my bedroom much on videos other than like when I'm, if I do like a vlog, I might show myself waking up or something, but I never show it because it, it's, it was so horrifying. It was such a mess. We had for the past like three years, we had this old chair from Ikea that I, we'd forgotten was in the bedroom because it was just sitting there and we'd piled all the clothes and all the bags and all the everything on top of it. So there was just this chair that had just a mountain on top of it. And then we forgot that the mountain was there because it just became a fixture in the room. Like it was like not something we noticed anymore. We got rid of that chair. We got rid of the clothes that were on top of it. We've gotten rid of like, I don't know, at least like six to 10 bags worth of clothing. Holy shit. Completely reorganized all of my drawers in the dresser. I've organized all the drawers and we've gotten rid of that big chair. We used to have so much clothes that we'd have our clothes in hanging in the closet. We had our clothes in the dresser and then we had excess clothes that filled up an entire bookshelf. So we had a bookshelf just full of clothes in the bedroom. So we got rid of all the clothes on the bookshelf. And now we're going to get rid of the bookshelf because it's an old bookshelf that we don't use for anything because we're going to put a, a better dresser in there when that comes. Uh, we ordered one. So we got rid of that. Um, all those clothes. Now we've moved Chewy's little Chewy has a little hut, like a little. Uh, a little uh, enclosure that he can go into when it's like raining or and he wants to be under something. So we moved his little enclosure with his bed and a bunch of his toys into there for him. Cher's comment made me laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cher says, Sammy got rid of the toy. Exactly. Did, 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 yeah. you, did you ever watch the show Biggest Loser? Uh, not much. I, I saw stuff about it. I don't think I ever watched it. Like I just like sort of felt though. like this was like the first week of that where the people had like the 50 pound weight loss week one. Uh, thing where you're just like, guys, by just like doing these normal cleaning routines, look at how different everything is. Look at these radical changes to my life. And then I'm just like, I went in my fridge. I saw one yogurt expired. So I threw it out and then I got a new yogurt. <laughs> yeah. It's just <laughs> wild. The difference. So like cool. I did. Yeah. Cause I, well, I've been a hoarder my whole life. And so I, I definitely have some issues with that. And we were already in the process of redoing our living room. So it's just cool. Like this, these weeks came at the right time and our bedroom is like a completely different room already. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm, and, I'm closer to that, like meticulous OCD personality where it's, uh, if, if you told me to find my, my keys, my wallet, my phone, uh, a file, a piece of paper from a file that I put down two weeks ago, like I'll, I'll know exactly where I put them, even if it doesn't necessarily look super organized. Like I know, my nightstand, second drawer, I have all like health information there. I know yeah. that the top drawer is where I keep at, like serious shit like that. Like I- Oh, I, so your, your life's just already in order. Yeah, the only thing that I, I, yeah, pretty much. That's amazing. Only thing I sometimes struggle with is the things that like Aaron and I both use because I'm the issue with having your life in order is when you're doing something that's shared and someone else uses it and they don't put it back where you had it, everything falls apart. I'm just like, wait, where is the like giant bottle of um, refillable hand soap? I need yeah. to fill up the sinks hand soap. Like, <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we lost a, we lost a cleaning brush just because I always kept it under the sink mm -hmm. and Aaron used it once and I didn't know where it was. And I short circuited and just like, could not figure out where to, where, where it was. And I just abandoned all hope. <laughs> Did you find out where it was? No, because Aaron didn't know. Like, I, we we th we think that some we think that the maintenance guy who came to fix uh because we had we had an issue with the toilet, so he came to fix fix that. We think he may have accidentally taken it by mistake. Oh, I mean that's fair too. Yeah, um, yeah. 
So, well, I guess I'm jealous that you never had this this problem to begin with, but today- I mean, I used to have a lot of clothes because I think my mom wanted a girl, so she used to try and dress me up, but actually I know my mom wanted a girl, but um, but no, I've, I've always just like, I, I've, I've been playing t-shirts and athletic shorts or playing t-shirts and jeans, depending on the day. Until recently, I never had that much of a problem with clothes. What I had a problem with, which is where we're going today, uh, in this part of the journey is papers because I was like, I never want to throw away papers because I, I just get so attached to the memories of everything. But that's why I've been reading all of Marie's books and listening to her. I've been listening to her Netflix show and things like that. And she's been like, got to let go of the past. You can thank it for its role in your past and you don't, but you're not going to need to carry it into your future. And I'm like, I, I need to accept this about most things in my life. I can okay. thank you. Yeah. You know what I'm bad with? I yeah. used to take pictures of, and I'm sure a lot of people do this. I used to take pictures like all the time on my yeah. phone and then just never look at them again. And then they would accumulate and then my phone would run out of storage and space. And I'd be like, and then that would be the only time I ever looked through pictures just to see what I want to keep. And I remember the good memories. But for Christmas, Aaron's family got us a digital picture frame. Oh, that's awesome. And so we uploaded it all in there. And now I'm happy because I get to see all these pictures constantly. So as far as like memories and letting things go, I sort of relate not on the paper front. Because like mm. when I see old journals, when I see like, um, I don't know, writings I had in fourth grade that I, like, I, I, I feel no emotional attachment to it. I'm just like, well, bye. <laughs> yeah, see, I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't have an, but I have an emotional attachment to like literally everything. I'll be like, oh, here's a receipt that I drew a little doodle on the back of 10 years ago. It's a really cute doodle. What if I need it later? And I'll be like, I'm not going to need it later. Not going to need it later. <laughs> I have to tell that to myself. So today we're tackling papers. I need to figure out... Okay, papers are in are in three categories. Papers either spark joy or they are necessities like you know bills you have to pay or things you have to file with the government. Because I was originally like this is not spark joy. I'm just going to throw this out, but no, that's not what you're supposed to do. So that's two and then the third one is just everything else you throw out. So or put in the recycling. So I got a bag that I'm going to take to the recycling later. I'm done. I see two houses I looked at two days ago, the layout so I can throw that out, and a plastic bag that used to have baked goods in it. So maybe I can clean that out and reuse it, and then I'm done. Yeah, oh, you're, you're, you are <laughs> you're have such an easier time this week than me, but that's okay because, you know, I'm this, this week I've committed, dude. Oh, wait, you know what I'm bad at, actually? I lied. I'm very disorganized on one thing. Hmm backpacks i'll throw everything in my messenger bag with no rhyme or reason that that makes a lot of sense yeah i have a yeah like i'll, I'll like i'll go in there that's where I'll, i mean that's empty now because i did actually marie condo my backpack but um normally i'll just have like like i'll go through an old backpack and i'll be like holy shit is this homework i didn't turn in in fifth grade <laughs> that's yeah all right, I'm I'm getting into the drawers. We're going we're going through the drawers, you guys, to throw out papers. Um, Cause you know how fifth grade was. If you thought you were gonna fail your homework, you just lie and say you didn't like uh, you lost it or your dog ate it or other lies, and then you try and pray the teacher takes pity on you and lets you do a makeup homework assignment. Is that how fifth grade was for you? Yeah, I was really good at fifth grade history. I found my fingerless gloves yesterday. So this is the thing. And you guys know it's it very cold in Chicago. I get cold in this office too because it doesn't, heat doesn't circulate as well. So sometimes in the winter when I'm typing, I lose all blood circulation in my hands and I need to wear fingerless gloves. And I couldn't find my fingerless gloves for typing in my office until I went through all the clothes and they were in there somewhere. I saw you fold those. I saw you, I, I saw you fold those. Oh, I folded Can they those. Up? I folded those. Well, they didn't stand up. I don't know if you. I don't know if you can fold socks and gloves so that they stand up. I she folds if, socks. I was. I folded all of my shirts and pants so that they stand up. Let me see if I can fold these gloves. There's, there's a fold. Uh, they don't quite stand up, but if you if I if I stand them up this way. If I hold them, they stand up. No, 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 no. If I stand them up like on the side, like this way, as opposed to this way, you know. Then ah yeah. I don't need to stand up the gloves. It's okay. It's okay. 
Um, I want to say hello to everyone in the chat. And then, guys, while we talk about whatever we talk about today, I am going to be in front of you cleaning out the papers that don't spark joy. I've got the papers in. I've got so many drawers in this desk full of papers. I'm going to put them up on the desk here, go through each one, throw almost all of them in the recycling. That's what we're doing today. But first, I want to say hello to everyone in the chat. Good morning, Caffeinated Angel. Good morning, Joe. Good morning to Stop Picking Your Nose. Joe says the Procrastination Club has been moved to next month. <laughs> I mean, I y'all mean, are procrastinating, procrastinating. That's beautiful. Yeah, I know. I love it. It's hilarious. <laughs> morning, Cher. Morning, Cat. Good morning, Ami. Uh, who so, Cat, Aaron and I are going to go move forward with your one comment in the video on saying the Mediterranean diet had the science behind it. As soon as we finish our current groceries, our next order is going to be Mediterranean. That's going to be what we fill our fridge and fill our drawers with. Unfortunately, we did get a lot of potato chips last night too, because we needed some comfort food. But after that, we're going full Mediterranean. I think that's a good idea. I think I might do the Mediterranean diet too. We should find a guru that does the Mediterranean diet because I just want to eat that all week. Yeah, let's just... I mean, I, I, I might just keep it forever because I like olive oil and, and yeah. veggies. I like, and I, I like hummus. I, and I saw that, like, I, I read this one quinoa bowl that sounds, I mean, I know that that's easy as fuck, but I also saw this one quinoa bowl that sounds delicious and something that you can replicate. And I also see a lot of people talk about Johnson & Johnson. Um, yeah, I saw the news today. It, uh We'll see how that affects everything. I also saw as far as people who did get it probably don't stress. We're talking about six cases and 6.8 million doses. So you literally have less than one in one million chance of getting the blood clots. So I, I know that they they took it back. I mean, I, I'm not going to speak on the science behind it. I know that they took it back. We'll see what happens. But I'm just saying if you if you currently had it, don't don't stress. Does it look at this? I had this buried in a drawer. This was my first this was my first sketch of Wrigley for just me Wrigley. This is the first sketch Aww. I did. It's like an abstract version of her from the side. I took I did this with oil paint and then I took a picture of it and scanned it into the computer and then I did all the digital coloring over top of it. I want to hang this somewhere. You should hang it in the loop. Yes. <laughs> To figure where I'm gonna put this, but oh, and next guys, to the Mona Lisa. I, some of the things I've been cleaning out, I'm gonna <clears> figure <throat> out what we should do for the giveaway. But I have items to do for the giveaway. I have like three shirts that I want to give people that are like merch related. Um, because I have, I have my, I have a girl washer ass shirt merch sample in the giveaway, and I have two like forever home friends shirts that I'm gonna give away. And then I have uh, some books. So I think we can have people enter a giveaway through, like, I don't know. What would we do for that? For Using, books? For, for anything. I just want to give away items that don't spark joy for me. Okay. So what we're going to do is in order to enter this contest, you need to send an unsolicited animal picture. Uh and we'll randomly pick one animal. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I didn't know if we wanted to do something that drove engagement intentionally or something. Yeah, we could pick one social media we want to drive engagement to. Yeah, and be like, um, follow us and comment on this post or something. Yeah, we 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 could drive. We or we have we could. Do, I mean, we we could do multiple giveaways. So we could do multiple social. Like we could do for this one, it's a Reddit. For this one, it's uh, Instagram. Uh, for this one, it's. I don't know. Go, go defense savvy in the Jordan Peterson video. Oh, wait, I love that one. Go defense. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Go defense savvy in the Jordan Peterson video. Give it a like because his fans are ruining my like to dislike ratio. Oh, Brianna, you were the unsolicited hamster. He was a cutie. Um, sorry. I stopped saying hello to everyone in the chat. Good morning to Marie who just finished yoga with Adrian. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Mushroom Destroyer. Oh, who is upset because she was supposed to yeah, get her vaccine. Joe, oh, telling, telling this chat that it's only women between the ages of 18 to 49 is not as comforting as you think. <laughs> don't, don't worry, chat. It's only women that fit your demographic exactly. Uh, oh, Brianna's here. Good morning, Brianna. Good morning, Ileana. Um, good morning to Gail and to Brittany. 
Oh, my episode with Jess showed up? I'll share it. Awesome. Good old Jess. Oh, yeah. you did uh, on Jess's uh, The Persuasion Pitch on that podcast? I don't know what I do with my life. I don't know what you do with your life either. Everyone should check out, like, F, whatever, cats. I'm totally blanking on the letters right now. It's like it's like Iron Movement, F E M V M T. Man, I've got so much. Starring shit Kat Benson. In here. What's up, Kitty? I didn't do yoga this morning, so I'll do yoga later with you. Joe, 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 yeah. I, 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 Joe, I know it's a warning. I was just fucking around. Yeah, Man, I, I got. So I get my shit in these drawers. I get my second dose of Moderna tomorrow. I'm a little nervous. I'm excited for you. I'm excited and nervous. Why do I have so many half-built Legos in the, my drawer? Oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Why, why do I have Legos in my drawer? I don't know. Legos are fun. They are fun, yes. They're expensive. Legos are expensive. I, I, I got my brother a, a Bubba Fett Lego for his birthday uh -huh. that's coming up because he loves Legos. And, um, oh, Brittany, we can totally talk each other through our second dose of Moderna. Uh, you can text uh, my girlfriend and I because um, we're getting them both tomorrow, too, and we can we can form a, a Wednesday the 14th Moderna second dose support group. That's a great idea. I love that. Um, okay, so I asked for Legos. Yeah, I got my brother a Bubba Fett Lego. And, um, dude, like, some of the Legos, like, the Coliseum one was, like, 600 bucks. Legos are so expensive. I guess that's why people make... Oh, is this a little treat bag for Chewy? What's it doing in my desk? This is supposed to, like, clip onto his leash so that when we take him on a walk, we can put little treats in here and, and treat, like, do training outside. Okay, have you heard about the grain shortage? How is that going to affect the market? We'll see. All right. I mean, the, 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 like, I don't, I went into studying economics because we don't have to be right. In fact, more often than not, we're rewarded for being wrong. And we're really rewarded when we don't give definite answers. So I'm going to keep economists that I studied in the past proud and, and say, we'll see how the market responds. Oof, so much shit in here. Some of this is like books that I got that I buried in here that need to go on the bookshelf because I still want them as books. Gail had her second dose of Pfizer Friday. Marie had her second dose of Moderna Friday. So you guys are in the, the Friday Rival Club. I'm Eight. getting my second dose of the Pfizer one on... April 29th, I want to say. Yeah, see, I kind of wish I had Pfizer. Not be like F Pfizer and Moderna are really close in efficacy, but I hear Pfizer has uh, fewer reactions and um, you get you get the second shot sooner. Moderna is like three weeks. And we, it's three or four weeks and Pfizer's two weeks. I got this little pen that is a dog. You remove the dog's butt. It's a little dog and you take its butt off and then there's a pen there. I oh, like it. That's that a should cute... not have been hiding in my drawer. That was cute. That's cute. You got to keep using that. Uh, Caffeinated Angel, I don't have my college books because I, on the rare occasions that I actually did get textbooks, I rented them and returned them immediately. Um, and then for other classes, I just rely, like friends and I shared textbooks. Because college books are expensive, dude. They are. They're too expensive. Why is there all this Lego shit in here? Oh, here's a Lego thing that I built. This is pretty cute. It's like a little dentist guy with a big toothbrush and giant teeth. I guess I like to build Lego things sometimes and just put them in the drawer instead of putting them on display as I should. Oh, wait, I lied. Not displaying them. I have some grad school books. I still have I still have my uh, intro to econometrics because I got it used and it was like so filled with writing that there was just no point in returning it. Not to mention I still I still look at econometrics sometimes just to I don't know remind myself on on regression models and 
familiarize myself with Jordan Peterson's multivariable and multivariable analyses. Look at the checks in this drawer with the checks. However, I'm gonna have to go through that drawer a little bit too. Uh, Kitty sold what books she had. Sister refused to get rid of her books. Fair enough. Savvy's toy drawer. Yeah, so it was my, this drawer is just everything. I just like, in my office, I don't really, in my desk, I've never really paid attention to what I put in drawers. When I needed something off my desk, I would just put it in a drawer. And now I am suffering the consequences of that. I'm gross. just drinking a gross energy drink trying to get us our sponsor because yes. they, they, they sponsor everyone. Who sponsors everyone? Which energy drink? This energy drink that's name I'm not going to say. I'm just going to keep drinking it on camera. Mm, okay. Okay. So I was watching, um, oh shit, what's his name now? Nick De Ra Ramio? Ramio? Oh yeah, I love him. His he, videos I, are great. I, I know you love wedding him. wedding photos. I'm watching him directly because of you. Oh yay! <laughs> and, I uh, watched, he, he's, he's funny. His his movie reviews are so funny. I love them, and they're so detailed. I was watching his uh, Shane Dawson com uh, commentary videos on like not cool and shit like that. I think that's what made his channel blow up because he started doing those right around the time that Shane Dawson was getting hashtag canceled. He canceled himself. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. If, if, if he, I mean, even, even David Dobrik's still making content right now. And he has like a hard R word next to his name. Yeah. That's the thing is you, if you get canceled, you can't stop making content because you're just going to stay canceled. Then that's just the sad reality of it. Yeah. So, it, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I, I think I, I know, uh, I know Logan Paul is disliked by many but he point blank said on one of his recent podcasts that it's so difficult to stop someone who just doesn't stop it's, and i think he was right, right about that yeah because he did not go away um i also will say i think he donated like and again i'm not saying he's perfect but i do i do think he handled the 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 redemption arc okay like he donated like a million dollars to suicide prevention funds um, yeah, I think I, I think he handled it better than most. Better than most. What is this? Perez Hilton got banned from TikTok. Oh, this is for my keyboard. I should keep that over here. Um, I gotta watch the Cadet Kelly breakdown so I the can. The Cadet Kelly breakdown it. is so good. Um, he he's reviewed <clears throat> like all my favorite Hillary Duff movies pretty much. I don't know if he's reviewed a Cinderella story yet, but he's reviewed a bunch of those. Do you count Cheaper by the Dozen as a Hillary Duff movie? Yeah, why not? Because uh, I, I say that those, those two are my favorite Hillary Duff Dude, movies. Dude, I love then. the Cheaper by the Dozen movies. Yeah, we uh, we we had nachos and watched Cheaper by the Dozen last night. So here's a fun story. Um, when Tyler and I were 16, we were about to have our, our first dating anniversary. And we had both seen the movie Cheaper by the Dozen. Not together, we'd just independently seen it a while ago. And he was making me a gift for our anniversary. And I was like, oh, what's the gift? And he was like, I'm not going to tell you. And he was like, I'll give you a hint, though. I saw it in a movie. And I was like, what movie was it? And he was like, it was in Cheaper by the Dozen. And I was like, oh, my God, it's the frog hat. The frog hat that the girl wears in Cheaper by the Dozen. It's definitely that, right? The girl? You mean Allison Stoner? Yes. I was like, it's, okay, yes. I was like, it's the frog hat that Allison Stoner wears in Cheaper Thank by you. the Dozen, right? And he was like, how did you possibly guess that? How did you guess what I just said? It's an object in that movie. You, would be? I was like, because I've always wanted that frog hat, dude. And he didn't even know that. So I I, he made me a frog hat. It's still in my closet. I've had it for 12 years. I gotta watch her IGTV on the uh, the child star. Okay, I'm telling trigger. you a cute story about a frog hat, and you are just obsessed with Allison Stoner right now. Oh, oh yeah, she's 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 <laughs> like she's like top two crushes for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's fair. Depends it's fair. on depends on the list. If it's a list that I retired Natalie Portman on, then she's high. If she's if she's on a list that I didn't retire Natalie Portman on, she's high but one lower. Okay, that's understandable, and I'm totally fine with you being an Allison Stoner sim. I'm just saying that my whole story was that Tyler made me the frog hat. 
Okay, it's a cute story. It's a I'm very sorry. cute story. It's a very it's the cute story. Fucking story of all time. <laughs> uh, the last two times I sewed something for girlfriends, we ended up breaking up. I don't think it's because I sewed them shit though. <laughs> Tyler and I would sew each other lots of things. That was like our thing in high school. We would sew each other things. We don't do it as adults though, because neither of us are really that good at sewing, and it turns out we needed our mom to help us with everything. My but sewing like, machine broke. When we broke. would do it, we'd be like, look at how good this gift is. And then as adults, we were both like, yeah, my mom helped me with all of it. So now we don't really sew things for each other anymore. But I still have all the hats that he made me. I feel like I, I would like to knit if I could. Because I feel like, um, I don't know, it's, it's that that's a bit more of a, of a, once you get good, you can do it a bit more passively. Like yeah. one, you can do it on the go. Uh, two, I feel like it's easier to multitask while knitting. I have so many good at it. business cards. Yeah, my grandma taught me to knit at one point, and I'm not good at it. Yes, I, I kind of want to learn to do that because I, I, I like sewing, but I don't know. Once once my singer broke, I just didn't really feel the need to get a new one. I, I got that one for like fifty bucks because it was from the 1950s, and oh, wow. one and, cool. and one and one of the settings didn't work on it when I first got it. Um, and it got me through a few years, but then I just, uh, to this cute drawing that I made four years ago. Thank you for sparking joy in my past to this drawing. I did on an index card. Thank you for sparking joy in my past. Oh, a fortune cookie fortune. Executive ability is prominent in your makeup. Thank you for sparking joy. Oh, you're throwing them out. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I put everything out. I put everything I'm throwing out into this Ziploc bag, and I'm going to go throw it out. Amazing. I'm just throwing everything out over here. Here's a little lappy top case. That's great. I'll keep that because I might need that. Oh, I've got stickers. I'm going to put stickers because I was like, I'm just keeping all these stickers instead, guys. So I got this cute little journal on Etsy. And it was like you could get it custom printed. So I got it custom printed to say Savvy Writes Books on it. So this is my YouTube stuff journal. And mm. I don't have enough stickers in it. So I'm going to put some stickers in it right now so that I can uh, then get rid of these sticker papers. Because otherwise I'm just going to forget that these are here. I'm going to put a little Star Trek sticker in it over here. I love yeah. that I'm still on this Mark Dawson mailing list because I wasn't going to get his programs to begin with. And now that I know that he bought his way onto a best-selling list, I'm certainly not going to. But I respect him for it, and I definitely am happy. I still get his emails. Yay! Oh, I definitely need to do a best-selling oh. lists are a scam video still. You absolutely do. I also need to keep this one area where I'm definitely cluttered, email mailing lists. So I've been trying to go through and unsubscribe from those. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely, I need to do that. I've definitely subscribed to all of those like author marketing experts. Like what, what are their names? Uh, I need to unsubscribe to them because they're so annoying. I need a shave. I need if to. If any of y'all author marketing experts are listening right now, I apologize. I hope I didn't offend you, but there's one, um, there's like Tim, Tim something. And there's like a Nick something. And they're just really annoying. I'll BRB. I'm going to go get flippers in a trash can. Okay. All right, guys. I'm throwing these things. I got all, it's like all these free things that I've gotten at like school functions and throwing them in the trash. What's this receipt from? Is this from a order I shipped out? When did I ship this out? Back in June? Yeah. If you haven't gotten your order I shipped you in June, I don't know what to tell you. Um, all right, I'm going to keep this little book. Got a couple little books in here to keep. Find where to put those. All right, throwing out business cards, post-it. I write, like, so many reminders to myself on post-it notes, and then I don't, um... I forgot to put on my Pelicans hat uh, because they won last night. That's a two-game That's a two -game win streak for them. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, this is a card that says, Savvy, we wish you a fabulous book launch party tomorrow. Love, Mom and Dad. That's so cute. That's so cute. Well, that is cute. Uh, thank you for sparking joy, Mom and Dad, with the book launch party. Is there... What launch there? is that? I don't know. It doesn't have a date on it. Dude, in the... 
This is a lot more difficult on a camera because it's like mirrored. Because like so I'm going the wrong way. Or it's not. Uh, that's kind of fun. I mean, I'm excited to try shaving my head on camera next week. Okay, y'all, we're going to do charity week next week. So next week, we're not going to have a guru. We oh, shit, I just realized Erin can't do mine on camera because she's going to be in school on Friday. I wonder if Tyler will do mine on Friday, if he'll come on camera and do it in the background or if I'll have to do it myself. We'll find out. Um, oh, thank you for saying I look cute glasses. I like your glasses. I won't say you look cute. You're though, wrong, but thank you for thinking. Me complimenting you is an insult because I like Steve Buscemi. It's not an insult. You're just wrong. <laughs> I got this note from one of my debate students that says, Dear Savvy, thank you for teaching me debate. It was very fun and interesting. I had so much fun this year and hope to continue next year. Have a nice summer. Aw, thank you for sparking joy. All right. And then I have these old Happy Holidays from the Forever Home Friends cards. Like little postcards. They're kind of cute, actually. They are. Forgot all about those. Put those down here. All right. All these things from the past. Thank you for sparking joy. Old post-it notes do not spark joy. Did I pay this bill? I better pay a paid this bill because it does not spark joy. Did I sign this and then never mail it in? Savvy, god damn it. Oh, I think I paid it online. I paid I think I paid it online. We're good. Am I giving you tingles with that ASMR shaving? Not really. No no no. But... Mushroom destroyer said ASMR shaving. Not you. You don't like ASMR. I don't dislike ASMR. You don't get tingles from ASMR. No, I I haven't that I've noticed, no. But I, I've i never really spent enough time listening to it. What's this card I got? Oh, this is from my... my In the chat, who are your favorite ASM friend. artists? See, this is this is why you're not supposed to do anything sentimental till, till the end, but my drawers are a mix of everything. Um, it's a card from my parents that says, Happy Easter, thank you for sparking joy. I feel like I should just leave half of this on for now. Let's see. Oh, this is, this is okay. Wait, I can't. I can't. I gotta just put the cards back in here because some of these cards are are just making me like, oh my god, I love them. Oh, wait, why is that? Why do I got a W two in here from twenty seventeen? I got a W two from twenty seventeen. Well, I'm sure I should 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 have muted your mic there. <laughs> should I should have? Why? I'm just kidding. You're not gonna get out of this. No, I'm not going to get audited. I'm sure. I think what I did was I took a picture of it and sent it to my accountant. I did my 2017 taxes in 2017, I promise. Yeah, to the people listening to this podcast. To listen to this Abby talk about her taxes. She totally did them. Also, this I think this is like the paper that's left over. Like you you tear off the one that you need. I think that that's what it is. I, de I, def I promise I did my taxes, you guys. Look at this. This is a big version of our wedding Wait, invitation. No, Bet, Bet, Bet Marie is right. You got to shred it. And so is Harley. You got to shred it, dude. I don't have a shredder. Cut it. Okay. Thoroughly. Yeah, I guess it's got all my information on it, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to go right. finish this up in a mirror because I'm struggling with this thing. All right, y'all. You guys get to watch me rip. You want ripping ASMR right now? There we go. This is me hand shredding my tax form. I hope that this is good ASMR too. Here we go. Alright, that one's done. Joseph says, wait till you find a tax from 20 years ago. Oh god, one day I bet I will. Um, guys, so this is right here. This is me and Tyler's wedding invitation. This is a big version of it. I drew us as donuts and it said, you're invited to Savvy and Tyler's wedding. You do not want to miss it. That was our wedding invitation. I don't need this big version of it because I still have the actual invitation hanging on the fridge. Um, let's see. Oh, this is cute. Okay. I can't look at letters yet because I'll get sentimental. Um, 
Let's see. Got all of these old um, just post-its and things like that. You got some bookmarks. I need to make a little like bookmark container. I need to have like a little bookmark holder so that I can store bookmarks and uh, for things. Okay. Because I don't want to keep losing all the bookmarks. There's a little drawing I did of myself on a post-it that says, I'm just hair. This is back when I had really long hair. And I was like, look at me, I'm just hair. That's cute. But now it's immortalized on this stream. So I'm going to throw it out. All right. Post-its. Fun fact. This is, uh, I'm going to throw this out too, but this was my first prototype of Wrigley's headphones. I did uh, the, like when I first did the 3D model, I had these and I was testing out the sizes and this fit together like this. So that's my first prototype if anyone wanted to see it. Now it's going in the trash. Um, okay, so now we've got just like cords and Lego things. So I'm gonna, oh, this drawer is so much emptier. Here we go. Oh wait, that's, I don't need this. All right, I'm gonna organize this stuff in this drawer and then I'll move on to the next drawer. Um, Jubilee says, I let, uh, Jubilee went one room at a time. I left all the keepsakes till the end and stacked up in my room to get till the end. They're still there untouched. Yeah. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. She, she talks about like leaving sentimental items till the end because you'll get caught up in reading them and like, you'll not be able to decide what to get rid of. And I, I think she's right to an extent. Like I get, I struggle with those a lot. Uh, Cher says, how is Tyler enjoying the new space? He's loving it. He's, he's really, because it's kind of hard to motivate me to get, to want to clean things or organize things, but we've, we've learned, uh, I, I've learned, especially since starting YouTube that I can be motivated to do anything I hate if I can do it in front of an audience. So it's like, oh, I'm doing this for this podcast. Oh, absolutely. I will clean now, you know, which is, I guess, kind of sad and probably a commentary on where society has gone or something, but I don't really care. I, this is what motivates me, but I guess that's, that's just kind of how it goes in this extroverted world. All right. These charge cords. These drawers are so much emptier. I'm going to have so much fun showing. I'm going to do a, a wrap-up vlog for people who um, haven't been able to join in. Oh, this little enamel pin. I like that. I'll do a, a wrap-up vlog for people who haven't been able to join in, and I'll include video of what all of the drawers and stuff look like. This is garbage. Oop. Okay. This is garbage. This is not garbage. You get the tape. I need to figure out where I'm putting the bookmarks. But we've got tape in this drawer here. So much less in this drawer. I need to start doing videoing so I can do befores and afters of the drawers because that was... I didn't have a before of that one. Um, okay, my little Lego things. I'm going to need to on display. Uh, I'm addicted to you. you know what you're toxic. All right. Putting all the... Dude, I have like... Legos in here. I, I keep going to the wrong side of my face. I have like two pimples right here. I'm so happy to finally get rid of. Yay! Congratulations! Now we can't use shaving your beard as an incentive on the stream, though, but that's okay. Whatever. I don't care. It was bugging me. That's fair. It wasn't sparking joy, so you get rid of it. Yeah. I'm already sacrificing with the hair right now. Which yeah. I know for some would be jealous, but right now it's just causing me. I think your hair looks really cool, but I agree that it would be um, frustrating to have on my head because even I, I'm starting to get annoyed with, especially the back of my hair. I'm looking forward to shaving. Oh yeah. I, if, if like bed head is the worst right now with this, if I don't work out first thing in the morning and then shower right after and then brush my hair back, it's just a mess all day. It's annoying. Oh, I've got a ton of bookmarks in here. All right. Just vlogging, 
Logging the drawers. Impossible Ooh. not to stick this thing along to toxic. It's 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 difficult. I agree. Got a bunch of things. The hair looks great. Drawers. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you think the hair looks great. I'm excited for it to be shaved. Um, got too much shit in all these drawers. Yeah. So I'm going to need to clean them now. Get rid the of the Jufro those. is in full force. Yep. Yeah, it's it's frustrating. Did the air leave behind a scrunchie or something for me? Like, I really get annoyed when I turn my head slightly and I just sort of see it puffed up in the back. Anyway, um, yeah, the Shane Dawson's movie doesn't look funny. The Shane Dawson movie, uh, what, not, not cool? cool? Yeah, have you it seen it? It's not cool. No, I haven't seen it. I'm surprised I haven't seen it because we're normally you love watching bad movies. all the shitty movies. Yeah. Um, but no, I haven't seen it. And what do I have in here? Oh, man. Everyone's uh, saying cute. I've what seen... did you show them that's cute? A wedding invitation? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I saw um, like years ago before I knew who Shane Dawson was. I saw the there's a review on a channel called I Hate Everything. And he did a review of it. And it looked really stupid from that. Even me, who's like, you know, stupid movies are fun. Even me, I was like, this movie looks really stupid. And turns out it was really stupid. I got my BoJack Horseman 2019 calendar. That was a gift from my friend. I love BoJack Horseman. But 2019 is over. And I hung this up in 2019. So I don't need it now, but it's also the art's really cool. That's a shame. The art is the art. Oh, I do like this. That's beautiful. I'm also currently walking someone through Coinbase at the moment because it's going public this week, and I'm explaining Ooh. that exactly what it does. <laughs> Y'all, I have had the worst time with my back this week. Can I just talk about how much I hate that? Cleaning is such a strain on my back. My upper back and my lower back are both a mess. It's, I've had to... I haven't used the heating pad yet. I probably should. My back is doing so bad right now. I'm excited to get back. I, I, I still need to do yoga today, but I'm trying. I'm doing yoga every day this week instead of that hit. Yeah, that sounds like a better option. Don't, don't tell me what's better. I, I might go for a run too, just because everyone really liked that uh, early morning run video I posted on the Reddit. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, maybe I'll just I'll drop Logan off at daycare at like 6:30 and then go for a run right out. I, I can't say that around him. He gets excited when he hears that word. I'm happy he wasn't paying attention. Um, my post chemo grew is, has grow has been wild. Oh, I've only had short. I only had short hair as a child. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, stickers. I need to find a, a permanent place for all my stickers. Oh, here's my uh, little external like phone charger thing. Cool. Y'all are so kind. I brought up that I'm getting the shot tomorrow and uh, I'm nervous for it and getting a couple DMs on our IG from, from people who are say, wishing support. So thank oh, y'all. I don't have a massage gun. I have the pseudoscience behind the vibrating roller. I, so I have one of those. And that I, I do actually notice a difference when I use it. Oh my goodness, I have... Oh shit, here we go. Here's, here's where the real papers are at. Printed out draft of Sculpt Yourself that I marked up with the red pen. Frame it. No, I'm going to throw it in the trash. Frame it. Throw it out. And then our house deed was just sitting in the middle of it. Was that a bookmark that you just totally <laughs> forgot about? Oh my god, I just had the house deed in the, just in the middle of it. What is wrong with me? I'm so glad I didn't just throw that all out. Can you imagine just throwing that out and just being like, oh, we so someone else finds it. Oh, it's ours. Look at me. I'm the owner now. Well, I don't know why Tyler just was comfortable with me just putting the house deed in a drawer. I'm all for how... blaming Tyler. Let's just blame him. <laughs> I don't mean to blame him. It's just like... Well, let's just blame him. Tyler, I'm... how could you let Savvy do this? <laughs> I'm so messy. So I'm like, how... <laughs> Why would you put it in my drawer? 
it's really fun to see my whole novel printed out on paper. Does it spark joy? It, the, the Looking at it sparks joy. The memory of it sparks joy. But having it take up space in my office does not spark joy. So that's going to go in the trash. I'm at the point where the fire ant bite from the other day okay, is Okay, no why longer. is Tyler's checkbook buried in my drawer? Tyler needs to handle his own stuff. Blame Tyler. Oh my god, I have all my students' debate files. I haven't coached debate in two years. Let's talk shit about him. Who is the weakest debater? No, I'm not going to do that. Come on, let's oh, talk shit. Just, just a little shit. Let's see. What am I doing here? I've got all this shit. I don't need this. What is this? Is this the National Debate Association? I don't need anything from them, I don't think. Yeah, I've got all the debate files. Good lord. I can't believe I kept these. Debate files. Let's get rid of these. There's so many of them. Oh my god. Got an invoice from getting something repaired. All right, this is all go. This is all getting thrown out right here. Don't need any of this. Doesn't spark joy. Oh, this bag is heavy. Okay. Is this all just blank paper? I could be printing on this. Oh, you helped a uh, caffeinated angel have a high, uh, an epiphany. I did. What's the epiphany? I didn't miss it. When you mention your realization it was pain for your scoliosis. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's the thing. This whole time I was like, why am I such a lazy sack of trash? I'm so motivated to do all my work and, and get things done and accomplish things in my, in my life. But when it's cleaning, I just want, I would rather die. And I'm like... Oh, it turns out it's because of my scoliosis. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, so my back pain has been... I don't think I have a baby pain. face. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's better than having a... Grandpa face? Yeah. Well, it depends on the grandpa. <laughs> it depends on the grandpa. What is Rick's grandpa from Cancel Sean Boston? Probably don't want to look like him because he, like he's Phil. based on Phil, who has a penis head. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but Sven probably has an adorable grandpa face. I bet Sven has an adorable grandpa face. I agree. But I don't know. And it also depends on the baby. Like, are we talking newborn? Because they're ugly. Yeah, newborn babies are ugly. No offense to anyone who has a newborn baby. Or who is a newborn baby. Yeah, no, no offense to the newborn listeners. <laughs> But you're probably ugly. Oh my god, why is there cereal in this drawer? Why is there cereal in my drawer? Do you snack while you write and you just forgot about it? I haven't had cereal in this apartment in like three years. But I just found pieces of cereal at the bottom of the drawer. <laughs> Claire's right, newborns have grandpa faces. They do. All yeah, right. they, they take grandpa shits. My, uh, my youngest niece is adorable. She's so fucking chubby. That's cute. <laughs> I saw her the other day on FaceTime, and they zoomed in on her, and she was just like puffy, puffy <laughs> cheeks, bouncing up and down, just like. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Oh, here's my Illinois... Okay, so here we go. I've got some folders in this drawer. I've got a post-it with my Illinois tax information on it. I should probably keep that in the drawer. And not public. Yeah, you... Uh, also, I use, for, like, sensitive information, I use an app called... Um, the, it's called Keeper. Uh-huh. And it's, it's, just, it's, like a, it's just a vault on your phone. This is a tax form. This is again from what year is this? 2017. Why did I just hate 2017? I don't know. You're probably depressed that Trump was still in office. Yeah, maybe. Let's just. You're probably like, if Trump doesn't have to pay taxes, I don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, that's probably what I said. That sounds like something I would say. All right, rip it up. Ripping ASMR. I didn't get the tingles from that. I'm sorry. It's fine. I get it more for typing. I have a notebook here. I bet this is a great notebook. Does it? Oh, 
Yes, this is an old notebook, but I hand wrote, I'm pretty sure I hand wrote most of one final vinyl in this notebook. You hand write your books? Not in their entirety. It's been a couple of days since I journaled. I need to get back into this. I need to take control of my life again. The Dear diary. The in this notebook are all over the place, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to use it as a notebook anymore. It's all the way full. Ah, what did I drop? I found out Savvy handwrites her books today. I don't handwrite them all the way through, but I've, I've handwritten a lot of stuff. She feigns book. modesty and humility. She feigns humility. This is what I like about... I hand wrote some, uh, some children's book for some Forever Home Friends drafts in here and stuff. And my this handwriting used to be so good. What the fuck? I used to have such good handwriting. Holy shit. You stopped caring. Oh my god. Well, that's depressing. Dear diary. Savvy's handwriting sucks. My, hand my handwriting doesn't suck. It just used to be really good. And well, here's a little composition book. She that doesn't feign good. humility with her handwriting. Oh my god, here's my first draft of Smile Chewy on a legal pad. How exciting is that? My first draft of Smile Chewy on a legal pad. Oh, that sparks joy. Frame it. Uh, Brianna wrote two books in seventh grade and she still has them and they're a great laugh. Yeah, I throw out most of my old writing. I throw out most of my new writing. Maybe I shouldn't write. <laughs> Yeah, oh, my handwriting dude. sucks too. Uh, I had really. a sitcom pilot idea that I wrote. I wrote a whole outline for a sitcom pilot called Miss, Mrs. and Doctor. I dig it. And then I did some art of Chewy on this page. Aw, look at this cute art of Chewy that I did. Adorable. Good luck reading my handwriting. Ah, ha, ha. Looks I'm like Hebrew. This with Smile Chewy facing up. There we go. Oh, thank you for complimenting my teeth. Wait, you couldn't see it because of my beard? It was Did I have facial hair <laughs> in my mouth? No. Oh, no, thank you. I appreciate right, it. So uh, I got crazy. life paper here, which I will use when I need to sketch things. Oh, wait. Do I have tax shit in here, too? What? I had tax shit over here this whole time. Wait until you see the top of my head. It really brings my teeth out. I'm excited to see the top of your head. You'll see just how small my brain is. Yeah. Next Friday, y'all. Oh, here's our house deed. That's going to go in. Buy, cancel right? Sean Boston. You can pre order now by sending Savvy and I a million dollars. Million dollars. Million dollars. We're going to be like that one author tuber who was like, guys, join my Patreon and get a free arc. It only costs you 50 bucks. Oh, yeah, dude. Remember remember the author tuber? Uh, Chris Martin. 2019. Chris Martin. That was wild. Author tube drama is always wild when it happens. It's like, why is author tube having drama right now? I don't know. For fun. Yeah. It's like I saw your I saw your co uh, the comment you replied to for your book review from an author tuber. Oh yes, the <laughs> someone uh, did uh, disagreed with my review of a book, and they were like, "So did this author pay you in money or sex for this review?" And I was just like, playing into that bisexual or slut stroke. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, because the I'm not gonna say what book it was, but there was a, it was about a book where there were slutty bisexual characters, which I loved. I dude, loved the second it. I saw that comment, you knew who it was. You. As soon as I saw "Pay You in Sex," I knew which review it was. I was like, "Holy shit! How can people be so rude? How can people be this level of rude?" Do like, you guys I have nice shaped heads? I feel like I, I I don't know if I have a nice shaped head, but yeah, people are rude. They're so rude. I was like, um, did you ever just stop to consider that maybe somebody likes a book that you don't like? Or is that is that too much? Was I automatically it, it was for me, it was more I was offended because it was implied that I was bribed. I my reviews are honest. Yeah, you I, might have bad taste, but you have honest bad taste. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm not talking about that book. I'm not I'm not talking because I, I five starred that book. It was a good book. Yeah. But it was like I, what, but also you lie to your friends, so. Well, no, I mean, that, that one book I just straight up lied. I DNF'd it when I five started because she was getting too much hate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I read the whole thing and I four started because I genuinely loved it. But 
man, man, I don't get people who are so rude who are like, yeah, I, I, I lie to my friends, but I'm, I'm not, I've never spoken to her, so I'm not actually. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe I'm trying to like lie that friendship into existence. Here we go. All right, now I'm going to show off this drawer I just cleaned. Y'all stay tuned. There will be a vlog probably next week. Look at this drawer I just cleaned. Woo! So much cleaner. Mushroom Destroyer, if I look like your boyfriend, can I have access to his Ethereum wallet? Because we're the same guy. <laughs> All right. Got some highlighters here. That'll be good. This pen Maybe is it broken. was a poor joke. Like poor taste or like, you're so poor, you need money and sex. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, I don't know, man. Either way, I was like, I am an honest book reviewer. I am honest. I don't even leave reviews anymore. I just read books and then I either talk shit to AG about them or I gush about them with the Amy. I just forgot how intense people are in the book review community. Like, you liked a book I didn't like? You are canceled. Like, that's such a thing. You didn't like a book I did like? What is wrong with you? Like, people go, like, go nuts about that. Logan and I have completely different tastes in books. And he that's liked perfectly fine. Uh, Brianna wants to know which indie books or which month your book is going to be on the indie book subscription so she can support both businesses. Ooh, I love it. Um, it's going to be for May, so you would want to order it this month before the end of this month because then it'll come out in next month's box. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Okay, I've got all my bookmarks here. I need to find somewhere to put my bookmarks so that I can. And Claire clarified. <laughs> Claire clarified. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's got Chewy's little treat bag. I gotta find where that goes. And this Logan one likes, for yeah, dinner. Logan likes leather bound ones. He likes rawhide ones. He likes kibbles and bits. He like he he likes picture books. He likes Animal Planet. He likes Aww. The Office. I'm not even just saying <laughs> books anymore. I'm just saying random things. He likes. What a cutie! Of course, he likes, he likes sleeping. All those things. He hates fans, plastic right. bags. Loud I'm noises. Put the wedding photos now. Quiet noises. Clouds. Our wedding photos are cute. We were cute at our wedding. Oh, here's a wedding photo of Chewy. Look at Chewy in his tux. Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, you're 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 you had a solid LinkedIn wedding. A LinkedIn wedding? I don't know. Oh, well, people networked at my wedding. So that's what I'm saying. You, that's exactly what I meant. Yeah. One of my friends got a job at my wedding because she met my boss there and my boss was looking for new people. <laughs> I just love that. I love that. So, y'all, the star of this stream is now officially Tuxedo Chewy. What a cute boy. I cannot believe I've gone through two whole drawers already. Good work today, Savvy. Yay. Okay. Now I'm going to put these wedding photos in a folder and figure out what to do with them. I'll put them in the house deed folder. House deed and wedding photos. Ooh, That's he was trying to get rich, rich. Okay. I said, I'm just going to have Mushroom Destroyer's boyfriend. Yeah, I'm more for the conservative. I, I, I just like the dollar cost average. I, I'm just looking to accumulate, and I really like coins that you can stake. I'm, I, oh, Ruby Writer wants to know the link for Indie Book Box. All right, hold up. I'm going to pull up Indie Book Box, guys. Um, one second. Yeah, we actually, let's see, where is it? Hold up. I'll put it in the chat in just a second. The indie, it's the IndieBookworm.com. There it is. Um, so yeah, if you want to get my book in it next month, you would want to order it. You would want to place the order this month. And I think, let me look at the shop page. I, I'm going to see if the one month boxes are listed on there yet. Cause I know she's putting that on there soon. If so. Um, oh yeah, she does. She has a one-time purchase box which there's the monthly subscription and the one-time purchase oh and there's the merch hold up let me look at the merch i just love merch 
Yeah, I, I have impulse control with like Sour Patch Kids. I have impulse control issues with buying merch. Yeah, you do. I love getting people's merch. And then you get, well, I think part of it also, it's not just merch. It's so, like your drunk shopping part of it's also you live stream it. So you get all this positive reinforcement for shopping. Um, yeah, exactly. I love drunk shopping. That's the thing too. And you just get so much like encouragement. Like everyone is like, yes, buy it, do it, do it, do it for the views. I realized when I was going through the clothes, I ended up giving away like at least three or four items that I had impulsively drunk bought recently, but they were not expensive. They were all like stuff I'd bought used on Poshmark. Because when I was really drunk, I was like, I want a denim mini skirt. So... I put in price offers for three denim mini skirts that were lower than the asking price. And then they just accepted all three of them while I was asleep. And so then three different denim mini skirts showed up at my house. So that I sounds... kept one, <laughs> kept one and I put the other two in a donation box. All right, let's go, let's move to this, the drawers on this side. All right. I have a box that says 50 envelopes on it, but inside there are zero envelopes. So that doesn't seem right. Oh, God, my BF will smash whole bags and have sugar come on. The, we'll have a sugar coma on the couch. That's much different. This is an old webcam that sucks. Does anyone want an old webcam that sucks? Dude, I think I have that same sucky webcam because I needed a... Oh, no, I don't have the same one. Never mind. Uh, but I needed a webcam that was not the same thing as my laptop web, lap, laptop laptop webcam. Wow, really struggled with that word there when I took my SIE um, because they wanted to be able to see my whole room to make sure I wasn't cheating. And oh, then, yeah. And then the worst part was I didn't actually need it, and the quality of the webcam was so bad they didn't let me use it, so I just used the, the cam on my computer, mm -hmm. and I just had to walk. I basically gave an apartment tour to the proctor. Yeah, this one is because I didn't have a webcam at all because I use a desktop computer and so I don't have like a built-in webcam. So I just have my, my high def camera set up and then I wanted something for like Zoom so that I wasn't using my high def camera on Zoom and stuff all the time. So Tyler's family, when we were visiting them, found this in like an old storage box. They're like, oh, we have this really old webcam. Do you want this? And I was like, sure. And it's terrible quality. I show up like really grainy. I have like a weird green tint to me on it. Um, now I've gotten a better webcam, which is the one I'm using right now. Um, but maybe do I want to? I feel bad throwing out technology. I'm not sure if I'll throw it out yet. We'll see. Hang it. Glenview Frame it. Commerce. I don't even live in Glenview. I live in up. So how 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 was the manga or the, the manga for this? Oh, for this, it was great. I loved it. Oh, now here's envelopes. That's where the envelopes are. Um. Yeah, dude. I thought it was super cute, and I, it was nice to have the cleaning techniques in story form. It just is just like a better way for me to process it, I guess. Oh, here's more index cards. I'll put them in the drawer where I put the other index cards. Claire says throw the webcam out. I should throw the webcam out, you think? Yeah, I probably should. It doesn't spark joy. Well, that was easy. Did you put your hand on it? Yeah. I mean, I showed it on camera, so I was kind of like, Ooh. Yeah, but that's that's a that's a relationship Thank with the, with the for... audience. Okay, they, as I tell the webcam, thank you for uh, giving me, for, for fulfilling a need I had at that moment in my life that I do not have anymore. And then I throw it out. Well done, Sabs. Yeah, what do I have here? Oh, I have so many vitamin supplements. There's no way that these are still good. Are, do vitamin supplements? Oh, those expired a year ago. Taking right. glasses off and then seeing the world again. Well, also, my eyes look so much smaller when I take my glasses off. Oh, I have all my washi tape here. Good thing I made a washi tape thing in my drawer. Here we go. Yes. Storing the washi tape. All has a place it goes. Love it. 
Okay, I have so much to throw. This drawer was like all trash, basically. Rivy Ryder bought the indie subscription box supporting Amara. Yes, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. Oh, what was this cord doing in here? So I'm going to quickly take a picture of that and tag that in our story and tag yes, Amara. Yes, I'm so excited. This is going to be so cool. I'm really excited to be featured in a subscription box. This is this is totally new. I love it so much. And I love what she's doing with the whole indie book subscription box thing because I, I just love seeing what I get every month. It probably doesn't help with my hoarding. But what I need to do is like go through it and decide what I want to keep. And if I want to, if I don't want to keep anything, maybe either set it aside to give someone as a gift, either that or, um, either that or, I don't know, throw it out. There we go. Savvy, I'm going to call that a, a life assist. Oh, that was Amara. a life assist right there. Don't have life goals, have life assists. Um, I'm glad that people think I look young. That's certainly, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think looking young is being used as a compliment here. It could be that you're like, you'll never be a silver fox, what did which I is get? my goal in life. The I want to be the silver for... fox in the lighthouse. Medication in 2016. I don't need that. What's that even doing there? Isn't that right, Logan? Yeah, I'm right. I've got a bunch of post-it notes. Put these in this post-it note. I'll put the post-it notes. I'll put post-it notes and index cards in this drawer now that it has nothing in it. Yeah, you will. Yeah, I feel like I'm really letting the stream down right now. I I cleaned up my desk. Yeah, man, you this was you have a much Wait, easier week. <laughs> I, I found something I can throw out. No, no, I can't. Never mind. I thought this was just a plastic bag. This is for our vaccine passports when we get them. Oh, because we, yeah. We're not going to laminate them because we might need to get boosters in a year. So we have these little um, tiny Ziplocs to keep them in. Thank good? you, Joe. That is that is what I need. I mean, I'm happy in my relationship. I'm talking about like when I'm 80 and still on the on the uh, the move for 40 year olds. Oh, Ruby Ryder says, to "Oh, this is my official transcript." Thank you, Bet, for saying I'll chisel out and become a silver fox. My college transcript. I should. I'll keep that in one of the folders, in one of those important items folders. Should I keep it with the tax stuff or the house deed? I'll keep it with the house deed. It doesn't really go with either one, but. I've been trying to think about my daily fitness regimen because I'm just trying to find, like, I, I don't like doing the same thing every day. I really don't. And so I was thinking, I know what, of the things I do right now, I do cardio and I do yoga and I need to weight lift more. So I was thinking that maybe just work out six days a week and I rotate every day. I'll do weightlifting, cardio, yoga, weightlifting, cardio, yoga, day of rest. I think that's a great way to do it. Back when I had a workout routine, what I would do was like, I would do like, yeah, cardio on Monday and yeah, I do like light cardio on Monday and Wednesday. So I do like dance instructional videos and stuff. Then on Tuesday and Thursday, I would do weightlifting and on either Friday or Saturday, I'd alternate each week, either Friday or Saturday, I'd do like hit stuff. But I burnt out of that really quick because I get tired so easily. So I would just fall asleep all the time. This week I've been extra tired because I've been doing all my work. And on top of that, I've been cleaning. And the cleaning, it makes my back tired. So it's just been a lot, guys. It's been a lot. I definitely just heard Jerry Seinfeld there at the end where you're like, and the cleaning. And the cleaning. <laughs> Let's see. And the cleaning on the airline. So many post-its. Rippy Writer says, make an accomplishments and business folder for academic and business work forms. It's a probably, that's a good idea. I'm just relieved that Joe thinks I'll still get all the MILFs. You will get all the MILFs. You just gotta know where to look. I mean, dude, I'm about to turn 30, and I feel like that's the ideal time to start, like, dating MILFs, and 
you know, I'm, I'm very happy with Aaron, so I'm not going to, but it's just, it didn't, it didn't line up this, this go around. Yeah, maybe next time you turn 30. Next time I turn 30, I think would be perfect. Cause like when you turn 30, I feel like, I, I feel like, a, you know, a 41 year old woman on a dating site is not going to be too, like, she's not going to necessarily say, oh my God, you're only 30. Like, it's not like you're 21 and they can tell that you're just looking for one thing. They're like, oh, 30. Okay. Young, but still, still mature. Still an adult. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to put all of my Micron pens in this little container. But I will say this. I do appreciate that Aaron rolls with the punches so well when I say things like, I'm only buying this house until we can afford a decommissioned lighthouse, and I'm only doing this until I can move off the grid. She, she, she definitely and, just like, okay. And when you say things like, one day I'm going to start fucking MILF, so you better become a MILF. Well, no, actually, I think she likes that because she likes the fact that it's, um, and I think she likes the fact that I say things that make her feel like her best years are still ahead of her. Like if I were the oh, opposite gotcha. and I was like, I'm only into 18 year olds, she'd be like, well, fuck, I'm done. Like I've been done for, for like seven years now. Um, yeah. So exactly. So I think she appreciates that. Like my ideal woman is still something she's going to become in the future. That, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense to me. Oh, this drawer is a huge mess. But guys, I've, I've cleaned out so much in so many drawers. I'm shocked at how clean my drawers look right now. Oh, Rivy Ryder, I would love a hobbit hole. Now, what do I... What's the... Okay, yeah. Man, I've got so much shit to do today. So I ran out of time to do it all yesterday because I was busy with the clothes. Maybe I'll finish the papers in the drawer on uh, actively on tomorrow's stream because I don't want to I don't want to get behind on things. I, I'm glad I found my bookmarks though. I need to find somewhere to put those. Claire says a man into adult women is attractive. Oh good. I'm 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 relieved to hear that like uh it's attractive to be into soccer moms. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing hotter than a guy who's like look at that soccer mom. Absolutely, absolutely. I completely agree. Dude, Dude. mom jeans and a minivan, so hot. So for you, is it, do you find it attractive if the woman has kids, or is it about the fact that she's older? Um, I think it's that she's older, but I think having kids is, it, it could, could be hot. I mean, especially because I don't necessarily want kids, so... Would if, you want to be a stepdad, or would you just want to like be a guy who hangs I, out and and then leaves the I, kids? I, I, I think I'd be a good stepdad. Oh, okay, because so, like, you're um, gonna be the guy that comes into mom's life but doesn't stick around. Well, no, I, I think I'd be a good stepdad because like I'm I'm frugal as fuck. Mm -hmm. So so I I think that like you know I'd I'd be able to afford important things for them. That's true. You'd be a good stepdad. I think I'd rather be a stepdad than a, than a biological dad. Yeah, well, I would I would rather be a stepmom than a biological mom. I'd rather See, be anything than a biological mom just because I don't want to give birth. This is why we connect. We have Our homes are built on the same foundation. We just have different paint jobs and shingles. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We care about the important things, and then we differ on, like, if Holiday's a good movie. Right, right. And Daft Punk. Well, no, that's arguably important to you. My bad. Yeah, it's arguably, <laughs> it's arguably important. It's all good, though. Um, let's see what's going on here. My wife has joked about me trading her in for two 24-year-olds. <laughs> joke. A uh, cottage chorus. That, yeah, no, uh, that's why the one house I was looking at was so perfect, and I hope we can still get it, but they had an offer, so fuck. But it, it was a cottage in the back, and then it was a... a, a a shotgun on the front, so it would have been perfect because I could have rented out the shotgun and lived in the cottage. Uh, Claire, over teens? That, oh, yeah. Well, no. I mean, a guy into teens is creepy. That's creepy. It's yes. creepy. If you're an adult, don't be into teens. That's creepy. Um, Mushroom Destroyer, I have a baby face. My BF forgets I'm older than him sometimes. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Bad Astro? We're talking about moms and, and the hot. RK likes uh, MILFs. That's what we're talking about. And also, I cleaned out three drawers. I cleaned out three drawers and I filled this bag. This right here is stuff just from my desk drawers, which is wild because it doesn't look like my desk drawers are big enough to hold all that stuff. 
uh, on the dating app, since I'm the best age, 42, I get hit on by mostly younger men. It wasn't until I hit 40 that younger men started approaching me. Majority of my life, I get hit on by very old men. But since I look like I'm in my 20s, I'm also still also getting hit on. So Caffeinated Angel is just getting hit on by everyone. <laughs> Yeah, what Claire's saying here, Claire says, perks of being a lesbian, my wife wants kids, but not to be pregnant. See, here's the thing, dude. If I had a wife and she wanted to get, she wanted to kids, but she, and she was willing to be pregnant, I would go with that. Yeah, absolutely. I would, I would have kids of some, like in that case. Although I don't know, I, I don't think I'd be that good of a parent. So I don't think it would be in the kid's best interest to have me as a parent. But I, I, I would, if, if I had a spouse who wanted to physically have the kids, sure. But I will never physically have a kid. Not going to happen. Uh, I had this awkward conversation with my dad because he's still ha hoping that I get married and have kids one day, I think. Like, he really doesn't like the fact that I keep saying things like, I'm not going to get married and not have kids. Are you planning to never get married and have kids? Ideally not. Um, and it's for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, personal and not personal. But... Um, I just had to sit him down and I said, dad, I don't have kids. So I'm saving so much money on a regular basis. Can't you just be happy that I'm going to be fucking rich one day? Like, right, can't you just yeah. be happy that I'm looking to buy multiple houses right now and I'm going to own a city block and like, I'm just going to be so fucking wealthy that I'll just like, I don't know. Doesn't that make up for what I'm looking to do? I'm thankful. <laughs> I'm lucky that my parents are so into dogs that they consider Chewy their grand grand dog. So they're, they're like, they seem just as excited as they would be if I had a child. They're just so excited to see Chewy and any dog I get in the future. They're, so I got lucky with dog lovers in my family for that reason. Uh, Bet Marie, why? RK, not say, are you asking about the stepdad versus the bio dad? Um, I mean, I just don't necessarily have the desire to... to reproduce. I, I just don't necessarily want my own kids. That's all. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I never really thought too much into it. Um, I don't really want to pass on my genetics. I have a lot of health issues. I just don't want to. I don't know. Well, for one, it's just, it's just a barrier. I really don't feel the need to break down. Like I, I love the fact that right. Like I'm, I know it's selfish, but I also think that maybe it's coming with a sense of self-awareness that I'm not ready to stop being selfish yet. Like right yeah. now, my, I only like, I, I have to take care of my family, but that's out of obligation to family, not out, not, and it's taking care of people that can still currently take care of themselves. So it's helping them out along the way. I'm not, I'm not ready to be the sole provider for another human being that he, I mean, for one, once you have a kid, every single dream you have just about, except for being a parent, takes a sec take, takes a back seat to that kid. Um, and that's beautiful if that's what you want. Um, if, if it's not what you want, then, then it's another conversation. And that's just, it's something I, I can avoid right now. Um, I'd love to have my own. Totally fair. Like, I, I mean, right now I really love being able to write one to two books a year and publish them in my free time. Um, I really love being able to work. I really love being able to look at these houses. I really love being able to like, get stoned on my days off and do absolutely nothing except walk my dog in my underwear. Like it's, it's beautiful. I'm not ready to get that up. Oh, yeah. I feel the same way. Honestly, I am. Maybe it's cause I'm, and maybe I'm just too self-centered of a person, but I, I can't, I don't think I have it in me to put someone else's entire life existence. ahead of mine and putting someone's existence and prioritizing their existence. That gives me existential terror, I guess, because it's like, okay, you no longer exist for yourself. That and also it's like it's like perpetuates a cycle, right? So it'll be like, okay, this uh, this kid's growing up to have dreams and and ha this kid has interests and whatever. And then is this kid just going to grow up and perpetuate the cycle and have a kid and then only care about that kid's dreams and interests and things like that? Then what did their dreams and interests matter? What did my dreams and interests matter? And when does anything matter other than perpetuating the next generation? And then I start to get like, wow, my life was really meaningless this whole time. And I just can't handle that. <laughs> Yeah. And I guess the whole thing going back to stepdad, I mean, I haven't really thought too much into it, but I think I'd be a better stepdad than biological father because 
it, it's it's a process. It's not it's not like you wake up one day and you're and you're a stepdad. And I think if I were ever put in that position, I would I would love that woman so much that I'd love every extension of her, and that includes the kids. Yeah, that makes um, sense. I'd love to. So I saw that Holiday is a much better than other holiday rom com though. Uh, Bad Astra, yeah. I think I'd be a good stepdad. Uh, I'd rather be a stepdad. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Thank you. Uh, perks of being a let, yeah, okay, so that we saw, yay, cleaning drawers, oh no, I'm a MILF, LOL, Queen of Spade, you're also Canadian, you're good, don't worry. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> Our kids, like, my type is MILFs, but not Canadians. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I, I, I'll take an, I'll, I'll take a US MILF, I'll take a Mexican MILF, I'll take a, well, I'll go, keep going south, 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 I, I won't go north. I'm not looking at you, Canada. I'm not looking at you, Greenland. Like, One day, our, we're going to, in like 10 years in the future, we're going to get canceled and the commentary channels are going to be like, look at how much they made fun of Canada. This Dude, is if Canada wants to cancel me, like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Oh um, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go for Quebecois uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll support their right to secede and fuck up that nation. Um. I want kids, but not to be pregnant. Thanks, Rebecca. Uh, my 40s were party years. Yeah, Cher, you sound awesome. Uh, Mushroom Destroyer wants marriage, just no kids. That's me. I mean, I'm married and I don't have kids and I'm perfectly happy. I feel like marriage is good for the tax benefits and then you don't have kids because kids are a lot of work. Just be like me. Get married. Get the tax benefits. Don't have kids. The end. Amanda, I refuse to be a parent or step parent. Raising and living with a kid is just not something I could ever do. And I, I think it's something I could eventually do, but I'm just not ready anytime soon. Yeah, that's totally fair. Um, I told my mom when I was 16 she should only expect children of the furry, four-legged kind from me, and I've kept that promise. Way to go, caffeinated angel. You are a person of your words. Yeah, Cher, I'm in your boat. My brother has kids. Um. I would love well, to have some nieces and nephews, but like nobody in my family really had, nobody, none of our generation is really having kids. So who knows? Caffeinated Angel's brother has kids. Uh, share, I love other people's kids and don't have to pay for them. Yeah. Uh, it's not selfish, not my kids. I, I appreciate hearing. I mean, I, it's something I know, but I also like hearing. Um, I always wanted to experience pregnancy, but not have kids. That's interesting. Could be a surrogate. Uh, Caffeinated Angel, appreciate that. Uh, Kitty, I appreciate that. Definitely just lost my place because I went all the way down to the new comments. Uh, sister called me selfish a number of times for not having kids. I'm sorry to hear that share. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read through like this so we can catch up on comments. It's not selfish; it's realistic. Uh, so it just feels being a bigger being. Bio. Uh, having kids, if you're not ready, you're selfish as fuck and bad for the kids. Yeah, I hear you on that. I feel you. It terrifies me thinking of having to take care of another human being if I can't even deal with myself. Yeah, Brianna, you're also like, I think, seven years younger than me. So I, I, I really get that. And I'm not saying that, you should, that you're going to change your mind when you're older. I'm just saying like when I was your age too, I, I oof. <laughs> like I'm not ready sense. now. I really wasn't ready then. Um, but I think it is more selfish to bring kids into the world if you're not right. What wouldn't all that happen as a step? What do you mean? Uh, Cause I, I do think there's a big difference in, in taking on the responsibility. Um, like in that, not in taking on the responsibility but in the process of becoming a step parent than a, than a bio parent. I, I think there's, cause- Guys, I hit 15,000 subscribers. High five. I just hit 15K, oh my God. Uh, Marie, I hate the pressure put on people to have kids or parents romanticizing their lives. Nothing is wrong or flawed about not wanting kids. Share agreed. Share exactly. Uh, Marie Preach. I think that's more selfish to just blindly have kids with it. Yeah, I agree with that. Mushroom knows that she wouldn't be a good parent. Amanda, responsibilities, bad astro children, and MLMs. So we're almost caught up. Congratulations on 15K. Kitty sounds like. I'm so excited. I'm going to have to post about this everywhere. Canada canceling RK would be hilarious. It would be funny. Canada is just really funny. Um, Queen of Spade laughing my ass off. Uh, oh, shit. Lost where that was. Laughing my ass off. I'll be laughing like I was there. Canadian didn't care. Uh, I just turned tuned in a few minutes ago. I'm Canadian and don't want to cancel you. We make fun of ourselves all the time. That's beautiful. Yay! I'm glad that the Canadians aren't going to cancel us. When COVID is over, I don't know. It's 
I still won't go to Canada, but y'all, y'all, I'll, I'll pay. I'd like to visit Canada sometime. Get a drink from the LCBO on me. Um, I want marriage and no kids, but I found it's really hard to find someone who doesn't want to have children. Uh, my husband was a stepdad for five years before we got together, and he had his own kid. I'm married and want kids, but not for a few more years. I don't know. When are you having kids, bro? I'll have to be finished grad school first. Yeah. yeah. Realizing my life is a lot like savvy. So happy. Be a surrogate. Too late. The ship has sailed. Cancer at 32. Changed a lot. Of, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Sorry. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Okay, everyone's congratulating at 15 now. We caught up. So now let's celebrate 15. Yeah, I get 15,000. That's so exciting. I, I should do something for it. Like, a, I'll do a live stream or something. Maybe a. Maybe I'll do should the giveaway. have a giveaway. public existential crisis. I should do the giveaway for this. Maybe I'll do a give, like, the celebrate. I'm celebrating 15,000 subscribers. Now I'll do my giveaway of the items from Marie Kondo Week. And I Hannah should. sent me a MILF picture on Instagram. But, like, not the sort of thing that you think. It's man, <laughs> it's man I love frogs. Oh, okay. It's like she sent me a MILF pic. Some feet pics. Had, had, had to quickly clarify that for the audio only audience. It wasn't what you think. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, if well, you ever want to hang out in Winnipeg with the Chicago of the North, thanks. I'm good. No, I'm I'll hang out in Winnipeg. That sounds fun. I want to come to Canada sometime. I do. Uh, I don't hate Canada like RK does. <laughs> It's not that I hate Canada. I just, you know, it's just, it's just the dumbest country on the planet. No, um, <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll hang out. With, I'll, I'll go to Can. Let's all meet in Quebec. <laughs> there, Canada is cool. <laughs> Temperature wise, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we'll take a trip RK to Canada, hates Canada sometime. RK hates Canada like Michael Scott hates Toby. Actually, that might be accurate. That's pretty accurate. Uh, after the stream, I'm going to take Chewy on the nicest walk. We're going to go on a lovely little walk together and listen to the rest of this audiobook. And it's going to be great. I'm so excited. Y'all should take a Canadian road trip to Alaska and I'll meet you in Alaska. That could be fun. Yeah, just you guys drive through Canada. I'll fly to Alaska. I'll have fun on the American side. Katie's congratulating you on uh, on uh, Alaska. I mean, fifteen k. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do a cooking stream or something and celebrate with, and then do the giveaway or something. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Make a cake. Make a cake. Yeah, maybe I'll make a cake. Maybe I'll wait wait, wait till twenty k to make a cake. I don't know. Start making the cake, and then you can say, "Guys, I don't want this ingredient, these ingredients to go bad, so hurry up and get me to 20k." Kitty, Kitty says we need to go to Toronto and track down former Degrassi actors. Yeah, that's the thing; everyone in Toronto was on Degrassi. We've talked to our friend Keelan about this, who lives in Toronto, and basically, if you grew up in Toronto, you were probably an extra on Degrassi or knew someone who was an actor, or someone went to your school who was on the show or something. Everyone, this is like a rite of passage growing up in Toronto to be on Degrassi at some point. Yes, yeah, the Canadian equivalent of a bar mitzvah. They just like, <laughs> you are now, you, you are now a real Canadian. You are, or at least a real Ontario-ian, whatever yeah. your fucking provinces are. <laughs> It has to be an RH box cake. Is that Rachel Hollis? Does she do box cakes? Well, that was the that was the whole thing in Girl Stop Apologizing. Remember, I made my Girl Stop Apologizing review while making cupcakes. And Not really, you don't remember it? That was one of the videos that made my channel great gain traction. But it was like um, in the book in in Girl Stop Apologizing, she was like complaining about. How she's like, I remember the moment I first learned what I wanted to do with my life. It was when I was 11 and it was my birthday and I was standing in the apartment with my mom and my apartment sucked and my mom made me this stupid box cake and the box cake sucked. And it was and that's when I realized that one day I'm going to be rich because I never want to have to have box cake again. <laughs> or something. It wasn't quite that intense, but it was like that was basically what she was saying. And everyone was like, what's wrong with box cake? Even rich people have box cake. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, and then her tuna fish comments on how she needs to eat tuna fish, even though it's disgusting for the nutrients. And then you were like, Rachel, you're rich as fuck. You can like eat and literally anything else. You don't have to eat tuna if you hate it. <laughs> you can buy it. You can afford anything you want to eat. You, don't you can buy the anything. supplements that you're trying to get from the tuna fish individually and just take those with water. Yeah, I just, I, I, don't, I don't, it just doesn't make any sense. She seems to have a weird thing, a weird hang up about cake. And then she has weird bunch, hang ups about like, like everything. Yeah, she's a really weird <laughs> hang up about cake. I'm like, I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, maybe I'll make, I'll make some cake out of a box. She's like a 1990s house phone that sells the cord. Like she's just hung up on everything. Um, <laughs> Bad jokes unite. Caroline was in a horror movie starring a kid from Spy Kids. Which one? I don't fucking know. And then uh, Caffeinated Angel sat in on a session of Parliament in Canada and they were arguing about potholes. Yeah, I kind of wish New Orleans would do that. Um, I make Rebecca box cake for her birthday. It's yummy. Most kids box? love box cake. Yeah, dude, I make Funfetti. Funfetti comes in a box and it's great. What about box wine? Or does she have something against that too? I don't know. I don't There's know the thoughts on box does, wine. Does Rachel Hollis slap the bag? I don't know. Um, Man, we got through a lot here. We got through Canada, which is a yeah, this country. Has been this has been a very productive stream. I cleaned out three desk drawers while we talked all about MILFs and Canada and all kinds of things. And whether or not, like, what, what having kids is like. What having kids is like. Yeah, and I'm excited. I think tomorrow on the stream... I am going to get through the other two drawers. I have five drawers in my desk. I got through three of them today. I'm going to get through the other two tomorrow. And then um, I guess move on to stuff in the kitchen. Uh, maybe I'll do that live on Thursday or something. The but movie is called Teen Lust. And it sounds as bad as and it, it's as bad as it sounds. Oh, wait, Junie Daryl Sabara was in it. Oh, man, I love him. I'm just so happy that, like, he's off, like, being married to Megan Trainer now, and she, like, writes songs about all the weird sex that they have. I'm just so happy for him. I feel like he got to live his best life. Um, if anyone's in the New Orleans area, Reese Witherspoon's looking for extras in her, uh, in her new movie down here. So you can do that. Being an extra's fun. Oh, Bette Maurice, I love the suggestion. I need to... Do food dye and icing to make the top of the cake look like my hair. That'll be fun. My hair's not showing up that well right now. I guess I think the colors are fading, which is great because I'm about to shave it off anyway. I think it's scared. It knows it's about to get shaved. And yeah, it's like all the blue hiding. and purple and pink is just like, boop. it's like going, it was fading into the the blondness of it. Yeah, you're, did, did, you, did you thank your hair for the joy it sparked? Oh, I'm going to thank it for the joy. It's, yeah, I mean, I thank my hair for the joy it sparks every day when I put um, lots of moisturizers into it. Uh, yeah, I have been an extra. I was an extra in the Thurgood Marshall movie starring Chadwick Boseman, and I was in just about every courtroom scene. I was a reporter. So I crossed that off my bucket list. I, I see. Yeah, I remember you showed me. I'm in the trailer. I'll it's pull great. it up real quick. All right. Yeah, let's watch it. Let's watch it. That'll be the, that'll be the last thing that we do today. I am the sword that the right. Oh, now I'm getting all these Dick Nick uh, yeah Dick Naramio. Wow, Nick Naramio video. I'm getting all these Dick vids now. <laughs> no, his videos uh, are so good, dude. I love them so much. They're good commercial trailer. Did this commercial really just ask what difference could two inches make? What? It's I can't a, see your screen, so I'm yeah, very lost. I'm not sharing it until I get through this ad. Um, what difference can two inches make? It, it, it was a CarMax ad, and it was about um, it was about a uh, a garage, and it was like, what difference could two inches make in a garage? And but they didn't say in a garage. They said, what difference could two inches make? And it's like, um, are we not supposed to think penises right now? <laughs> I think that that was probably what they were going for. They probably were doing that to get grab your attention. Okay, here we go. And now let me just fast forward so we don't get a claim. Actually, I'm going to also turn off the volume to further here help. It is, y'all. We're going to... 
Okay. I'm coming up soon. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you're in the trailer. That's so exciting. Boom. Right there. That's you. It's you with your hair shaved off. That's yes, what you're going to look is. like once we shave our heads again. And actually, there was one scene where I sat next to... Um, oh, shit, why am I totally blanking on her name right now? I'm, to I'm totally... Like Goldie Hawn's daughter. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. I don't know uh, celebrities. Goldie Hawn's daughter... Kate, Kate Hudson. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I sat next to her for one scene, too. That's awesome, dude. I'm so happy. That was great to see. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, that, it, it was a bucket list. I, I have zero desire to, to be an actor. I just wanted to be an extra in one movie. I love it. And then you got to be in the trailer. That's so cool. That was cool. That, that was definitely cool. And it's it so cool up. because you can show it to people very easily now. If you were just you were an extra in the movie and you wanted to show it to people, but you weren't in the trailer, you would have to go through the entire movie to find the exact point. That would be harder. But, but I'm, now, I'm in the back of the courtroom. you're right there in the trailer. I love it. That's amazing. In most of the movie, I'm right there in the back of the courtroom. A couple, a couple scenes I'm sitting down. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, no, you can also see me outside the courthouse. I, the, I might actually be in the trailer there too, but I forgot. What was the experience like on that set? It was good. Um, it was tiring, like really long hours. Like we'd get in at 11 and we'd leave at two in the morning. Um, but it was nice. I mean, you had to bring your own, or no, 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 they, they, they provided, they provided one meal and they had limit unlimited snacks. Uh, but they always got snacks on film sets. It's great. But they were, um, but it, it, it was fun. We just, I spent most of my day just in, in the back trying not to get too hot in my costume and sweat. And I was just, I had Kindle Unlimited at the time. So I just read all day, which was fun. That's and awesome. um, they paid well. They paid really well. Oh, um, they did? How much did yeah. they pay? It was like 12 bucks an hour. And then you got overtime after I forgot how many hours. And then I you randomly get uh, tapped for SAG AFTA or whatever it is occasionally. So on the days I got tagged for that, I was like, 15 bucks an hour and I got overtime much sooner. That's amazing. The only, I, the only movie I've been an extra in was a very small budget based on a true story sports movie. And I didn't get paid anything for it. I just went to it because I was 14 at the time and considering going to film school and wanted to get like, see what a film set would look like on a, on a production. Yeah. It, it, it's cool. It's definitely yeah. cool. And um, I, I, I don't know. I, I was gonna say I, I've spoken to the director a couple times since then. He's cool. Um, but oh, that's yeah, awesome. So, yeah, yeah. We connected on LinkedIn. Oh, dude, I love it. I love it. I love LinkedIn. <laughs> I've been I've been trying to use LinkedIn the past couple of days. Well, because I'm trying to for whichever charity we in Chicago that we end up benefiting. I want to get someone or a founder or somebody from their board or something on the stream to do an interview because I think that would be fun for Charity Week. So I'm trying to meet nonprofit people on LinkedIn to help because we're going to do a charity stream and I'm excited. Yeah, we are. Um, that way it's not like a where's Waldo situation. Yeah. yeah I remember when the dark night was filming in Pittsburgh and they were looking for extras and the pay was pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, one of the guys, the guy who I was next to in that trailer, he was in the dark night rises. He was a cop in the dark night rises. Um, so he told me about how he said that the Marshall set was much more relaxed than the Dark Knight Rises set. Like, and they, they had to get so many uh, cops to be extras in that movie, and you had to just wear heavy equipment all day. <laughs> yeah, that sounds rough. Maybe I'll try to. I know a lot of things film in Chicago. I should try to be extras in things just to get make some money and have a cool experience to tell people about. Yeah, y'all, go on LinkedIn if you want and just start connecting with random people in your city and uh, don't try and sell them. Just try and talk to them. I mean, the best way I can say it is use social media to be social. Uh, meet new people. Don't don't try and sell. Uh, they're, they're much more receptive to having a conversation and you just you never know where it's going to lead you. Awesome. Well, y'all, thank you so much for being here today on this stream with us. We will be back here tomorrow at the same time. I will clean out the rest of my desk and my guys, my office is almost clean. The closet's still a little bit of a mess. I might have to get, get to that, but uh, the, the, I'm really, I'm really doing better with the cleaning this week. Marie is changing my life. All right, y'all. 
I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to support small businesses. Don't fall for any scams. Don't fall for scams. Maybe I'll go on Instagram live later today to clean the kitchen and celebrate 15,000. I don't know. I've got a lot of work to do. Remember uh, Dan Locke only speaks the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you should totally give him 30 grand because he'll, he'll absolutely get you in a better place. That's not 30 grand in debt. <laughs> yep, exactly. All right, y'all have a great rest of your Tuesday.